This chunk changes everything. On Extreme One Chunk Iron Man, death chunks are always waiting for you. 99 prayer at the monastery, 99 construction at every estate agent, and 99 smithing whenever a bronze or iron pickaxe are rolled. For me, I am one roll away from all of these grinds. One bad roll could land me with a 1000 plus hour monotonous skilling grind. Depressing, right? Well... Yes, that is depressing. Obviously, that's depressing. But there is a light at the end of the tunnel, and that light is Vetion. As part of my chunk rolls, I need to green log Vetion. This means getting all of its unique drops and the pet. This is a brutal grind due to my gear, potions, and prayers being massively suboptimal. However, it is a double edged sword. Vetion drops three extremely useful drops that will make these future death chunks far more manageable. Dragon Bones, Oak Planks, and Gold Ore. This means if I get the pet on drop rate at 1500 kill count, I'll have banked 1.5 mil prayer XP, 1.1 mil smithing XP, and 1.4 mil construction XP. Throw into that mix the 1.2 mil expected fletching XP from the magic logs it drops, and suddenly, Vetion looks like a very useful boss for the future of the account. Now, starting this video, I'm already far past the drop rate, having 2,000 Vetion kills already. Will I get the pet, or will I keep stacking vital future resources? Both are a good and a bad thing, but let's find out. Welcome back to Canifish Chunk. Oh, you f not bad. Timing on that. Christ. I'm actually get away with this. Come on. <sighs> As if I got away with that. Oh, you love to see that. You love to see that. He's only 72 combat, and I highly doubt he's got this agility level, so I should be okay. Good times. <laughs> that could have gone worse. So, we just got level 61 defense, which is going to be the first defense level of many, I'm sure, on this grind. It's very likely that I'm not going to be using the Accursed Scepter for all of these Lava Dragons. Um, I simply cannot afford that, but uh, Vetion is currently a bit unbearable, so I decided to just rock out here for a bit, and uh, yeah, thought I'd get stuck in, and hopefully I can get lucky. <laughs> what the fuck? This guy has had to do 7,081 spindle kills to get one Void Waker gem. What? That can't be right. 7,000 spindle kills for one gem. That's mental. Oh, I just got 95 strength. <laughs> I did not realize that was coming up. I was trying to get my hit points low so I could just suicide at the... Uh, End of this kill. But there is 95 strength. Four levels to go until 99, which is crazy. Right. Say bye-bye to this guy who's uh, been hanging around with us for a bit. And uh, bank all this loot that we got. Very fun duoing with him. Uh, he was carrying a lot. But we did get 95 strength, and again, not a combat level. One more attack level or strength level. I think I'll just stick with strength. Right? That seems like the best thing to do. So, uh, yeah, I'll stick with strength. And, uh, yeah, we're up to 20... How much kill count? 2068. That's a lot of kill count, isn't it? Surely we'll get the pet soon. 
Oh, got away on that. You can see the white dot there. Oh, hoo -hoo. we love to get away from PKs. That is my favorite thing to do. Oh, ho, ho. see ya. Ah, uh, I love it when I can actually see the PK on the screen as well. That's so good. That makes me happy. And there is 2,100 Vetion kills. The first 100 milestone of the video. Nothing too interesting or fascinating that we've got thus far. But... We're still pushing through. We still have over 300,000 ether in the bank. So it's not too bad at the moment. We're sort of dying maybe like once every 30 to 50 kills, something like that, which isn't ideal, but it could be worse. Uh, other than that, the loot is still stacking up, banking a ton of smithing construction and prayer XP. But I'm hoping that I get the pet soon because it would be very, very cool to get it. Lamp, 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 lamp. Four rubies. Fantastic. What a good way to spend a minute. And there is a long bone. <sighs> Can we just get the pet already? There, the pet is only three and a bit times more rare than the long bones, and I've definitely had a lot more than three and a bit, three and a bit long bones. So. Yeah, if we could just get the pet now, please. So, that was a pretty successful trip, getting 40 Sanfu Serums in one invent. That is pretty nuts. And with those 40, when we add them to the bank, we have just gone over 1,000 Sanfu Serums banked. They are super restores, but better. And with, uh, with uh, what's it? Um, Anti-poison as well. So that is pretty mental. That just looks like the fattest loot tab, doesn't it? 304 mil. Absolutely massive. Just some of the stacks. Like, they've got white stacks on the blood and deaths. It's just crazy. And um, oak planks, 32,000. That is like nearly 2 mil construction XP. Just such a huge tab in general. Probably not too long until we get the uh, white stack and the gold ore as well, which is just nuts anyway. Um, but yeah, 542 rune pickaxe as well. We haven't had any any uniques for a little while. The Void Waker Blade has also crept its way up to 18 mil. When I got it, it was 8 mil, and that was only like a week or so ago. So I don't know why that's spiking, but... I'm happy that it is because it's going to make my uh, bank value go up. I should have six of these, but I only have one at the moment. So, yeah, hopefully that luck turns around alongside the pet. But we are at 2138 kill count at the moment. Oh, as if I got that! As if I got that! Oh my god, there's so many logging in as well. You can see them on the other account. <laughs> as if we got that right. I'm just going to suicide that. Okay. As if we got that. Yes. I'm so happy with that one. Oi. You. Not looking at your second monitor and not subscribed to the channel. Subscribe to the channel, please. <laughs> right. Where's the account? Oh. Okay, looks like that world is a wee bit untouchable. Let's go back to this one. Oh, God, I just logged in. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I just logged in by mistake on that world and got away. Right. Okay, and that one. What the fuck is going on? Okay, we got out. Super size versus super skinny is fucking crazy. Whoever, whoever invented that is... Fucking off their head. One of them's like, oh, I I only eat an apple for breakfast, and then for dinner, I have a banana, and that's my daily diet. And then the other one's like, I had 15 donuts before 9am! Oh, did you see that pk <laughs> <laughs> that was quite the log out, was it not? And I forgot to record a clip when I hit 2200, but 
there is 2200 kill count at Vertion. No real major updates since the 2000s. Uh, 2000th kill, to be honest. I really want to get a Void Waker Blade, though, because uh, someone informed me that they are up to 23 mil. So if I could get some of those, that would really kind of add to my bank value, which is realistically the only thing that I have to look at going up at the moment. So hopefully we can get a Void Waker Blade soon, if not the pet. Right, there is kill 2222 which looks extremely clean in the chat, but did not result in a useful drop for me. But, our kill count is flying. Apparently the Void Waker Blade is up to 23 mil value now. So I'm hoping we can just like get a few of those in quick succession to make up for the, what, six or seven that we don't have. <laughs> so hopefully, we'll get a few of those straight into the pet and uh, this day will be a great one. When I'm deep into an old school RuneScape grind, I usually eat terribly. But that's not at all the case when I use today's video sponsor, Factor. When I'm home alone, it's so easy to pull out my phone and order something bad for me and that destroys my wallet. With Factor, I don't have to spend a ton of time cooking something from scratch, but I do get a restaurant quality meal in just two minutes and a fraction of the cost of takeaway. So it fits into my lifestyle easily and saves my pocket. There is a lot of variety each week too, with 35 meal options to choose from, including keto, vegan, and calorie smart options. So whatever it is that you like to eat, Factor can deliver it in two minutes without all the faff of shopping, prep, and cooking. Get 50% off your first Factor box and 20% off for the next month of boxes using my link. There's never been a better opportunity to give Factor a try and confirm that all the hype is worth it. Click the link in the description or scan the QR code with your phone. Thank you. And there on 2261 is our first Ranar we drop for a while and also the only remaining drop from Vetion that triggers the 500k plus... Wow, I'm playing terribly. That triggers the 500k plus uh, notification in the One Chunk Clan still. So clearly this boss is still being uh, botted to some extent because the Dragon Bones have slipped below and the Sanfu Serums have slipped below as well. Uh, so nice to get that and give the people the uh, the heads up that we're at Vetion and they should come and PK me. Hopefully they don't. No chance I'm getting away, but I can at least make it difficult for them. Oh, that's so bleak, man. That is a huge F with our 100 Ranar weeds and 150 Dragon Bones. Fuck's sake, I must just be on the... Yeah, I'm just on a different world. Why am I on a different world? What? Why am I on that world, on that account? Oh, uh, that isn't... Go on then. This will be the pet, won't it? Oh, ran our weeds again. Hopefully we can keep hold of these ones for longer than... Uh, longer than five minutes like the last ones. If we get dragon bones on the next kill, I know it will be a... Uh, I know it's an omen that I need to bank. Oh, that is our first unique of the day, Dragon Pickaxe. Not even worth 1 mil GP anymore. That is Dragon Pickaxe number 11. When am I going to pick up my... Oh, just got away from PK there as well. Oh, <laughs> oh that was exciting. Um, yeah, so 11 of those, one Void Waker piece, and they are barely more common, so... Pretty unlucky there from a bank value point of view. Would have been cool to have 10 Void Waker Blades by this point. Oh! There is our second Void Waker Blade. 24.8 mil. That thing is fat as fuck these days. Oh my god. Right, I'm not risking my mace at the moment, but if I get another unique, I will be. Oh! That is a nice little boost to the bank value, I must say. That is lovely. Lovely, darling. So, we just hit 2,300 kills. 800 over the rate for the pet, which is absolutely crazy. So, I'm sure with my RNG, that means that I've only got... Oh, got to hop away from that PK. Um... I'm sure with my RNG, that means I've only got about 5,000 kills to go, which is nice. 
Um, so hopefully we uh, we get the pet before that, but I'm not holding much hope, so we shall find out. Oh, hello. There's another, P <laughs> another PVM of there. Oh, and here is King Duffy. What a guy giving me a bond. The first one I've had in a while because I have to have my private on friends pretty much the whole time. Oh, he's gone for two. What a what a champ. Um, look, he's got that full golden prospector gear, which is just so nice. Right, let's get our 29 days membership with that. Thank you very much. Bonds are so expensive these days as well. I think they're about 13, 14 mil each. So that was not a small donation from King Duffy, and that is much appreciated. Oh, he's got a dragon pickaxe. Very nice. Would probably have actually preferred the 88 dragon bones that Sean got over the pickaxe itself. But we take those. It is a unique, at least. First unique of the day at 2,334 kills. That is Dragon Pickaxe number 12. Oh, yeah, I'm so cooked here. <laughs> Sean, I've only got six run energy, mate. I need you to take that. <laughs> Oh my god! Look at that! <laughs> oh, one of the PKers that hopped into the cave actually died to Vetion. That's so funny. Oh my, look at that. It's literally like half a mil of loot. <laughs> More probably. What a noob. Oh, I'm loving that. What a moron. <laughs> Oh, our boy Sean just got himself the Ring of the Gods. I don't know if that was a collection log for him, but that is very nice. Congratulations, Sean. See ya! <laughs> See ya, Voyant! Straight up PVM death! <laughs> And there is 2,400 kill count, 900 over the rate by this point, which is mad. 100 to go until we're 2,500 Vetion kill count, the multi-variant of Vetion, most of it solo. Absolutely crazy, absolutely crazy. Will we get the pet before then? Will we get the pet before 3,000? Surely, surely. Please. <laughs> I need it. Oh, what a cute noob. I just told this guy he should use a salve amulet for 20% damage buff against the undead. And he just said, where do I get it? Oh, bless him. Oh. Although, to be fair, he's got a fire cape and a... And a uh, sign chain me, so I don't know what excuse he's got for not knowing. I love seeing slightly cute noobs like that. Gives me hope that the game's got a few, got the, uh, got a future, right? Hey, our buddy's back. It's been about twenty-five minutes, so I don't know if he's gone and done the whole quest in that time, or he just didn't have one in the bank. But he now has a salve amulet. It is not enchanted, uh, and he definitely has the Slayer level to get it enchanted. But, he's at least 15% damage up. <laughs> See, we're improving the player base one noob at a time. Okay, we've given him the lowdown on the fact that he's got an unenchanted uh, salve amulet. Told him the mini quest that he's got to do to get it enchanted. So I guess the next step is to see if he goes and does that. Right, I just typed this out to the guy because I was telling him what I was doing when I was death banking, right? Just just occurred to me, this guy is a noob that didn't know a salve amulet exists. And he's got a dragon defender and a fire cape on him. What do you think the odds are of those being true of a parchmented, for one? And what do you think the odds are of him having more than one of those is? I think quite low. I think this guy very well could be risking his dragon defender... And his fire cape. <laughs> Odds on him having like 16,000 charges in his mace as well. 
<laughs> right, so I asked him if they were true parchmented. This guy said no. Oh, there is a 96 strength clip as well and 109 combat. Nice. So we'll go back to attack for now, I think. Um, so, yeah, I asked him if they're true He said no. He said, I reckon they're protected. I'm pretty sure they aren't protected. If he's above 30 wild and he's got a fire cape... And his uh, dragon defender on him. We che I checked his um, high scores and he's not ranked for Jad. So he's definitely only got one fire cape and probably only one dragon defender as well. That would have been quite funny had he, <laughs> had he lost them. <laughs> oh, bless him. I was, I was debating whether to like PM a PK that I know to come and kill him. But I thought that would have been quite savage. So I'm helping the noobs today. I'm helping them. Ah, oh, I thought I could get him with the ult. I did! Ah, oh, that's so annoying! I did actually get him with the fucking emote thing! Oh, no! Oh, I actually got him with the, like, uh, do the emote as he goes through the door. But he just didn't... Uh, he, like, took the bait just one tick too late and hit me with the god sword. Oh, that was so annoying! I actually got him with that as well. Oh, that's wow! Oh, that's wound me up, that. Oh my god, I can't believe IR just got third age range legs on a chunk account. Have you ever seen that before? I don't think I've ever seen third age on a one chunk account before. What? Third age range legs from a clue. 40 mil. That is nuts. Oh my god. 675 gold ore. We already had a full solo kill, and we had a duo kill as well from someone that I crashed. 1,500 gold ore in the one invent. You must be feeling sick. I need to bank this. 1,500 gold ore is too juicy to miss. That is 30,000 smithing XP. That is huge for me. I've officially become what I've hated and started calling in my friends to come and kill PKers for me. <laughs> look at these, look at these people, there's three of them. They're, they are a f group of three friends trioing Vetion. I'm very confused, I must say. But I've definitely become what I hated and started calling in PKers. <laughs> As if this guy's just carrying on fighting. Looks like we've got a- Duffy! Duffy! <laughs> he just died! No! <laughs> oh, no. So I've become what I've hated and I'm not even any good at it. Oh, no. They're going to assume it's me. I mean, it kind of is me. So any retribution that comes my way after this is definitely 100% deserved. <laughs> Come on, Duffer, you can't let this guy have your pants down again. Reverse stream snipe. Yeah, true. Oh! See ya, Alice! <laughs> oh, that was outrageous! Oh, what, what is happening? This Betion cave has got absolutely out of hand. Watch me get the pet now while everyone's still in the room. Come on, let's get the pet just to make it the perfect clip. Nah, never lucky. Oh god, that was that was so funny. I can't believe how much she just got battered. I swear she got a stack of about 70 damage. That was crazy. How this guy, this guy, level 63, out DPS me to the point I only got two restores. I did 20% of the damage against a level 63. You fucking what? And there is 2,500 kill count of Vettio. I've been running some duos with our buddy Sean. 2,500. That is dry, to say the least. Um, I've probably done about 2,100 solos and about 20 and about 400 duos. So yeah, <sighs> here we are again. Dry. Not getting the items that we need. But it's been fun. The loot tab is looking absolutely outrageous, if I must say so myself. Uh, let's go have a little look in the chest and see what we've got. So highlights, 150,000 blood runes, mental. 20,000 magic logs, big start on the 95 fletching right there. 
35,000 oak planks. That is over 2 million construction XP, which is crazy. Some of these Herblore secondaries will be huge one day when we get the 99 Herblore chunk. 38,000 cannibals one day. Massive. 78 thousand gold ore absolutely huge for smithing without smithing gauntlets that's well over 1.6 mil smithing xp seven thousand dragon bones on the ecto funtus that is what again nearly another two mil prayer xp fifteen thousand super compost that is going to make the grind um the grind for farming one day absolutely huge Void Waker Blades. Very dry on these as well, but they're still 24 mil, so they're adding some nice bank value. Overall, I would say a very good and fun grind so far. That um, I do want it to come to an end, because it would be really nice to just make some big progress on the chunk, finally. That's the, the bane of these heavy RNG chunks, is that you never really feel like you're making progress until you get the drop. But if I'm going to go dry anywhere, I would probably choose here. Uh, it would be way better to go dry on Vetion than it would be at Lava Dragons. So hopefully we can spoon the Lava Dragon, uh, spoon the Draconic Visage rather, and uh, you know keep going, keep going on Vetion for at least a little bit. I think if I can get to three thousand and then get the pet, that would be a sort of tasteful amount of dry and a tasteful amount of loot. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, I'm so happy with that. Oh, my God. I saw the PK, -er, but Vetion was dying, and I thought, I thought I'd thought i left it just slightly too late there, and I wasn't going to get away, but I got the oak planks, and I got the hop. You could see his white dot on the, in the caves on the map. Oh, that was so good. That was an excellent escape from me. Whew. So, last night on mobile, I did some fletching, and I've only really been using the U-logs that I had left over from the Revenants, but I did manage to get up to level 88. Uh, I'm going to be doing the magic logs soon that I've started getting, so this number will start going down, if anything, uh, but the total we need is about 25,000 more than this. Um, so yeah, we're going to probably get what, what's that? 20,000 times 91 XP, 1.8 mil fletching XP from that. And that will get us up to about 6.2 mil, which is just shy of 92. So we've got roughly 92 banked, um, and we need to get three more levels on top of that. So hopefully the magic logs are kind to us at Vetion. And if we get the pet soon, then, uh, you'll see me at end. So, uh, yeah. Just giving it a little update on our first skilling level that we've got in an awfully long time. And it wasn't on camera. Good YouTuber. Oh, got away there. Whoo, see ya. Another one. Oh, we're fucked here, Sean. Why is he coming after specifically me? Sean, come attack him! <laughs> Someone, come and help! No! <laughs> yes! Sean's on him! Sean's sculled up though! Sean, don't die! <laughs> No! Sean, do not get smited for your zombie axe. Protect item on. Protect item on. <laughs> Rest in peace, Sean. He saved 1,000 ether, though. Oh, as if I got away. As if I got away. I was just waiting for that guy to throw the freeze on me, and he just never did. Oh, my God. That one is a great one whoo we love to see that we love to see that oh that was nice that was really nice oh last moment because they both turned to me as well whoo oh uh, 100 ranar weeds we like getting that drop 702k still the only drop that triggers the uh clan announcement Nuts. 100 Grammy Ranars. That's going to be so nice one day. 
Oh, you fuck. Why is it always during the dogs? It's always during the dogs. And it's always when I've got 20 fucking sand foods on me. Oh, oh, oh. I think he's here, isn't he? Duffy, 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 I need you. Take their asses out. Here we go. Come on, Duffster. Come on, Duffster. Okay, I'm just going to run for it. I think there's a chance. Yes! Yes, King Duffy has saved... No! Oh, my God. Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes! Oh, my God! How is there that many VKers? Oh, my God, we are... Yes! With the 20 Sanfu serums on me as well. Oh my god. Huge! Huge! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that, fe that felt better than sex. <laughs> okay, so I just filmed the best clip that I've ever recorded. And I was recording the wrong screen region, so we're having a second stab at it. We just got level 91 attack. Um, I did a big whole spiel about how when I finished the Revenant chunks, I got an, I had 99 range, 95 magic, and I'd absolutely washed melees. And now, my melees are actually quite good with 91 attack and 96 strength. The 61 defense is certainly letting me down a bit, uh, but the plan is going to be to get 95 attack, followed by 99 strength, and followed by 99 attack after that. So, yeah, melees looking very, very solid. Oh, we love getting the 100 Aranaweed, 700k worth. Sadly, the PKs also seem to like logging in on us immediately after I get that drop. So, uh, hopefully I can hold on to these ones long enough to actually get them back to the bank. Surely. Good news, everyone! We're heading to death. But as you can see in the bottom right, there is a grave info, which means... Our 100 Ranar Weeds, in fact, made it back to the bank. Very exciting stuff. I'm just going to quickly go and have a look how many I've got as well. Uh, after we chuck these in, I presume... I reckon it'll be somewhere around 1,500? Oh, 1,700 Ranar's Bank. That will be very, very juicy one day. Oh, got the hop off on that. Ho, ho! Oh, he does what he wants. Right, we're pretty low on resources, so I'm just going to suicide that. Whoo! God, it gets my heart going, them PKs. Fucking in combat, you f Yes! Yes! Oh my god, I was so lucky there. Look at the timing on that. You cannot hot worlds because you're so- because you're in combat. Oh! Oh, that was a lucky one. That was a very, very lucky one. Oh, ho, ho, I'm so happy about that. Very, very happy indeed. Whew. Uh. Oh, fuck. There's one on me south. No, there's one on me to the south. Help. Help. To the south. To the south. <laughs> Help. Yes. Okay, good, good. Your presence scared him. That's fine. Oh, fuck. Right. Too many, too many, too many. Okay, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Okay, we'll find another world. Just log out if you can and we'll find another world. Okay. Whoo! The only... 50? You fucking what? I'm just getting 50 by a green dragon. <laughs> what? with that one my god uh, <laughs> what is happening where why 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 are there this many pks though 
And with that kill, it is 2,700 kill count, which seems like an absolutely insane, insane figure. So 80%, well, 180% of the pet rate. Obviously, we have done a few hundred duos, so it's probably more like 150, 160% of the pet rate. But still biblical numbers. We are firmly on the second page for Vetion right now, and in about 500 more kills, we will hit front page Vetion. And I'm just going to hop away from this PK real quick. <laughs> there we go. And that's the end of the clip. Oh, fuck. Uh, did you see that PK trying to get me? <laughs> that was lucky. That would have been an annoying death, wouldn't it? Oh my god. Holy fuck! <laughs> Whoa! Okay. This is gonna be brutal, I can just tell. Oh, Scalavetion from the duo. Why can't it be something good? <laughs> <laughs> I just even a dragon pickaxe would be nice. Oh, skulls of Aeon, that the ultimate it's like a troll face as well, like laughing at me. Oh come on, surely we get the pet. 2724 at the minute. Surely soon. And there is 2750 kill count. We also got the gold ore with that. Uh which is definitely one of our most favourite drops. 250 more kills until we hit 3,000 kill count, which will be officially double the drop rate. Of course, we have done some duos, so we're not quite there, but we're still significantly over rate, like comfortably more than one and a half times the rate at this point. <sighs> Tell you what though, it does look good, doesn't it? 2,750 kills at betting. And I look like the fattest bot on the high scores as well. Because I've basically got no stats. I'm 1,200 total with no boss kill count except 2,750 betting. I am the bottiest of bots. Absolutely wild. Okay, boys. Boys, I'm in the caves and I've got someone on me. Jump back in. Jump back in. I'm on the west of the escape caves. Oh, they're like on me. Okay, I'm just gonna like go in and out the caves, I think, a bit. Oh fuck, here they come. Okay. 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 Okay, yes, 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 yes again! Yet again! Just the confusion. Let me get away. Okay, this is definitely the meta. Oh my god, this, that was so good. Ah! Oh, my heart's going a little bit. Oh, that was exciting. And there is kill number 2800 for yet more useless limpworts. 200 to go until the big 3000. Doesn't that look... 2800 kill count. Does that not look like the fattest number ever extreme one chunk account in the wilderness 2800 vetion kills in multi that is man I, I've, this one i've surprised myself the revenants was was kind of big and although, although this hasn't taken quite so long yet when i first started and i died like seven times getting three kills this seemed like it would never ever ever happen so i'm really surprised even myself with how this one has gone. <laughs> and hopefully, I can be rewarded with a pet relatively soon. Oh, we take the 100 Ranar weeds. They are always very juicy. 705k. I feel like they were over 10k at one point. You'd love to see that, though. Help me. <laughs> Help me. Jump in. Save me.
The boys are helping. The boys are helping. Yes, okay. It looks like the confusion. I've probably got away. Yes. Yes. The boys. The boys are coming in clutch yet again. I'm not sure if... Uh... There we go. Yes. Right. We got away. See? Having the team around might be slightly unethical, but definitely works. Oh, there is a dragon pickaxe. I think that might be dragon pickaxe number 13. Unlucky for some, but hopefully lucky for me. Oh, 2,847 KC. That is mental. And here I am bursting into the Vetion layer where I am getting kill count number 2900. Absolutely massive. 100 kills to go until the big 3000. Running some duos with my viewer and friend Jacob. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, the RNG will turn around before we actually hit the big three triple zero. And there is level 92 attack. We're going to stick with the attack up until 95. But that's a relatively big level. Halfway to level 99 in terms of XP. Absolutely massive. God, we're strong now on the melee front. Yes, I got away. Yes, yes, yes. That guy tried to fuck us over and I got away. Yes. See ya, dickhead. Look at that eight points regen. That's what I mean. The new update since they got rid of the double hit has absolutely ruined Vetion in that regard. Because it just it hit zero and it regens to one hit point before going into the um the phase. So like you literally get hit with like a delay. And I've got to waste an extra ether getting it down again. Or more than one ether getting it down again. So savage, honestly. <laughs> it's way worse than before. So, the elemental changes to magic came in today. And as a result of that, we are going to be attempting a new way to kill lava dragons, which now have quite a severe elemental weakness. What I will do, however, is turn off my wilderness alarms on this account, because that is annoying. Uh, and we shall head up to the lava dragons now. So, they have a weakness to water spell, so we are going for... Uh, water wave as a start because we have 156,000 blood runes in the bank so why not uh, I've gone for quite an anti-PK setup here with the black dehyde and the, and the uh, entangle sacks so we'll see how we get on I'm very soon to get 71 prayer and 72 defense as well uh, and we're just going to go see what our max hit is what our accuracy is how many kills per hour we can get that kind of thing um but yeah, I look like an absolute snack because I'm wearing full Elder Chaos robes. And I'm wearing full Elder Chaos robes because these give 1% accuracy each. Um, we're not risking like anything. We're only risking our like Mystic Water Staff and some other gumbo. Uh, but yeah, time to see how we get on at the Lava Dragons now that we don't have to use Ether Because that is the key thing about this setup. I'm risking a grand total of zero Ether per trip. So uh yeah, exciting times, and time to see what our max hit is, and our XP, and our... So we're already hitting 27s! Oh, this is gonna be good, I can just tell. Oh, hello. Okay, I think that should work. And that is why I'm totally unkillable at the Lava Dragons. Because I just have to land on Entangle, step under and log out. Easy peasy. Uh, so yeah, safe to say, that works. And there is 62 defense. And I guess I may as well chuck in 
the 71 prayer as well. 110 combat. We're really getting up there, aren't we? Um, I'm using a, somewhere around 13 to 17... Um, 13 to 17 casts per kill. So kills per hour, I'm guessing, are actually pretty high. Probably, I'm guessing somewhere around the sort of 70 to 80 range, maybe even slightly higher than that. Uh, I'll do some proper testing on that, though. But, yeah, we're going to start getting defense levels very quickly, as well as prayer levels. Right, so the max hit on the Lava Dragons at the moment is a 30. And I think it would be a 30 whether I was wearing the Elder Chaos Druid's uh, robes or not. So sadly, that is not giving us a max hit. Uh, but we will uh, probably keep using Magic Gear. I'll probably just grab some Mystic at some point, see how that is. Um, but in five minutes, we got six kills which means we're getting about 72 kills per hour, uh, which is 28 less than using a Thammer and Scepter Charged. But we also have another op uh, another uh, avenue open to us, which is to use the Thammer and Scepter to auto-cast Water Wave. I reckon with that, plus Mystic Might, plus Elder Chaos Druid Robes, my max hit with that would probably be about 46, 47, 48, something like that. It would use Ether, but it would use Ether at a less quick rate than when I was just auto-casting with the staff and max hitting 37s. Um, so I think that might be worth checking, and it might be because I've not killed as well Revenants whilst I've had like range pots and stuff like that. So I'll be able to get quite a high amount of XP per hour at the, uh, uh, not XP per hour, ether per hour at the Revenants. Uh, so it may very well be worth just doing some testing and seeing what is better from a me meta efficient perspective. I suspect it's going to be this because I've got so many blood runes banked and I'm risking and using no ether, but potentially not. So we will check. Oh, hello. Duffy, I need you. Oh, turns out I don't. <laughs> that will never get boring. I will tell you that for free. That will never, ever, ever get boring. The Ring of Stone is such a cool item. Like, spot the player here. There he is. <laughs> oh, it's BK. Fuck. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Ah, <laughs> uh, and there is a skull of Vetion. <sighs> Why can't we just get something else, <laughs> please? The moment is finally upon us we are now hitting officially double the drop rate for the pet with kill count number three thousand at vetion no pet to go along with it so that is as good as it's gonna get all the boys in the protection gang outside have jumped in to say thank you well not to say thank you to say hello uh, I would say thank you to them, though. That's why I said thank you. Um, 3,000 kills. I'm going to go do some Lava Dragons now. Keep that 3,000 clean for a little bit. Um, some people, I'm sure, are going to say, but you haven't got 3,000 kills because you've done some with teams. And that is true. I haven't exactly hit double the drop rate. But important to point out that no one in my teams has got a pet either so there are 3,000 kills where i have been in the room where no one has got the pet so yeah we're still as far as i'm concerned twice the drop right now but that is 3,000 kills at vetion about 2,500 have been solo 500 in teams that looks so fucking clean doesn't it oh oh that is juice so, seeing as this episode was predicated on how good the resources are from Vetion, it's probably a good idea to take a look at them. So, here is the Vetion tab so far after 3,000 kills. 413 mil 
in total value. Now, that is actually quite low for the amount of kill count I've got because I've only got two Void Waker Blades. In 3,000 kill count, I should have expected to see seven or eight. So, and they are worth, how much are they worth at the moment? Nearly 30 mil a piece. So, yeah, we should be have way more of those and hopefully our luck will turn around on those. But if we take a look at the resources, it is a sight to behold. 1500 Sandfu serums. They will be massive for the nightmare one day. 860 super restores, just useful generally. 234 dose range potions. That will be massive considering I've got level one herb law. You've got to bear that in mind when I've got this many restores, this many range potions. I've got super combats. Yeah, pretty crazy. 6,000 rubies, 2,300 uncut diamonds. Not massive, but still definitely really, really good. 85,000 gold ore. That is over 1.7 million smithing XP banked right there. 7,800 dragon bones. Another 2 million prayer XP banked right there. 40,000 oak planks. That is 2.4 million construction XP. That is just, that is crazy. All these super composts, which are going to be massive for farming one day. So many epic uh herb law secondaries as well Seventeen thousand more my fungus seven and a half thousand wines of zara six and a half thousand limp words truly mental stuff Twenty two thousand magic logs now i have been cutting some of these as well but that right there just in the stack that we've still got is well over two million fletching xp which is absolutely massive now we are going to keep doing Vetion, but I think I'm probably going to slow down ever so slightly on that and focus on Lava Dragons going forward. But this loot tab is truly, truly crazy and definitely coming along. I don't know if it quite rivals the Revenant tab yet, but it's getting close. Like some of these stacks are just really, really crazy. But in terms of like future skilling resources, this one definitely takes it, I think, because the gold ore, the dragon bones, the fletching, the construction, like, it's just an absolutely crazy tab. And seeing as we don't have the pet yet, it is just going to keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So, uh, yeah, exciting times for sure. Hopefully you enjoyed, uh, you enjoyed, uh, seeing me go incredibly dry and, uh, yeah, onwards and upwards, I guess. Now, if you enjoyed today's video and feel like it looks like quite a lot of fun, feel free to come and join me over at kick.com forward slash FreyRS. I'm live about 40 to 45 hours every single week, most days of the week as well. And we are generally just having a lot of fun over there. You know, if you want to join up with the uh, PK team and fight the PKs that come and get me, that would be massively appreciated and it would be super fun. You never know. I might even be live over there right now as you're watching this video. So come and follow and I'll see you there. Thanks. And as always, a massive shout out to all the channel members who make these videos possible. Fontcest, Taufane, Patrick Wright, Jern Scallon, Sir Yolo, Mike Moran and Fuclus at the Amethyst tier. Crito, Cianscape, Cornstalk Hands, Jesse Emelian and Adam Cornick at the Rune tier. El Pinin, Brad Norsium, Come Crumpet, Titas, Uberhasu, Baseman, Alacy, Draco Ranger, Pierre Totari, Just Taxland, Girk, Can't Even Fly, and Douglas Sears at the Legend tier. And not to forget all of the Gold tier members Avery Fields, Eddie Mayer, Shocked Thief, DJ Focus, Grimsley, Salnexor, Kai, Hunterman, Carl Sprouse, Ninrim, Squang, Olivet, Hazmat83, Nilo360, Croporo, Vandio Gaming, Asheranka, Spooky Pasta, Carsman, Hannibal, Potatis, Wimble, Chas John, Only Moly, Played Pancakes, Ed Manta, Man of Gold93, Dominique G, Luke Davies, Sauron Pedersen, Morseco, Shibadiva, King Duffy, and every one of the Kick subscribers that has subscribed this month. Thank you all so much for your support. I wouldn't be able to make these videos as often as I do without you, and I really, really appreciate it. Now, as one last thing, come watch me over live on Kick right now, possibly, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.